This is a course. This is a course uh, managed by ICTP and uh, um, organized by the scientific committee. Uh, I welcome all the members of scientific committee. Um, well, I welcome Irina Swanson from Purdue. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Marilena Rossi from Genoa. And then Kishi Watanabe uh, from Japan. Uh, let us see. And of course, Lothar Gucci. And then we have two young dynamic organizing committee members, uh, Kyle uh, Maddox. Kyle, can you raise your hand? Yeah. And then uh, Kriti Goel. So uh, <clears throat> scientific committee has been uh, working for last one year to put together this course. And now it's the job of young people to uh, take it forward for next 10 weeks. And the speakers and the tutorial instructor, it's a big exercise and I hope we will be successful. So I invite um, uh, Professor Lothar to, um, to uh, welcome everyone on behalf of ICTP. Okay. <clears throat> so good afternoon or good morning or good evening, depending on where you are. So I'm Lothar Goetje. I uh, work here in mathematics at ICTP. Um, it's a pleasure to welcome you to this uh, graduate course on tight closure of ideals and its applications. I wanted to thank the organizers and also the scientific committee for all their hard work over this long time to prepare this uh, beautiful program uh, and to make this event possible. Also, I very much want to thank the uh, lecturers and the tutors that will uh, make these courses and uh, uh, do exercise sessions with, uh, with you. <clears throat> so as mentioned, this is a 10 week school. So it also requires a certain amount of stamina from the participants. So I hope you will all be able to follow and enjoy it for the whole time and uh, uh, enjoy it until the end and learn a lot. So I also wanted uh, to give a brief uh, introduction to uh, ICTP if this is possible and its programs because some of them might uh, interest you. So um, <clears throat> so I hope you can see it. Yes. Uh, so this is uh, ICTP here, you can see a, a bird's eye view of the campus. So it's a rather beautiful campus. I, I hope you will all sometime be able to come here. <clears throat> In the moment, uh, we still have the pandemic, so it's not so easy, but <clears throat> and we are slowly restarting our programs. Um, so I wanted to uh, show you uh, what we have here. So this uh, ICTP has been here for almost 60 years. And uh, the idea is that one here has uh, both uh, uh, high level research and also the mission of capacity building in the developing world. Um, <clears throat> so this consists of uh, research, education and outreach. Um, <clears throat> so what happens? Uh, so there are five major research directions at ICTP. So high energy uh, and cosmology, condensed matter and statistical physics, mathematics, which we have here, earth system physics and quantitative life sciences. There's also uh, some activity in applied physics. <clears throat> Um, doesn't want to give me the next. Okay, so one program which is uh, in particular close to our heart is the. Uh, ah, so maybe I have to go back. Uh, it doesn't work so well. So <clears throat> there are several uh, programs I think here for uh, you know for PhD and graduate studies. Um, for uh, people here, maybe mostly of interest would be the uh, joint ICTP CISA uh, mathematics uh, pro PhD program. And uh, so CISA is a, uh, a graduate school here in Tiesta, uh, one of the best institutions in Italy. And there are also other things one can do, for instance, uh, the master in high engineering, uh, high performance computing, things like that. <clears throat> Before that uh, comes uh, the uh, diploma program, which is one of our 
uh, I mean, maybe favored programs and also think a big success story. So here we have uh, students from the developing world, which come for one year after they finish their undergraduate studies and uh, study, say, beginning graduate courses. Uh, <clears throat> and the, the aim is to prepare them for a PhD program. So every year we have 10 students and uh, I think until now it has worked very well. And uh, most of them do get their PhD. Uh, very sad that it's so difficult. So why is it so difficult? Okay. Anyway, so in addition, we organize uh, many conferences every year. There are about sixty conferences and workshops per year. Um, so this. Uh, one is in some sense one of them, uh, although it, the, the uh, format is very uh, different from the usual. I mean, usually it would be one week conferences, workshops, or two weeks. <coughs> or, <coughs> but uh, this time it's 10 and it's all uh, virtual. But we hope that uh, soon uh, we will have uh, again many more uh, also such programs here again. In normal years, we would welcome about up to 5,000 scientists per year uh, to these activities and also as visitors and postdocs. Um, okay, you can see where people come from. So as you can see, they come from all over the world. It's maybe not so important to have the precise numbers, but uh, you know, it, uh, uh, I mean, it's uh, always many people from all over the world who are coming here to, for our programs. So one thing <clears throat> that is important is that somehow we want to offer something for everybody in every stage of their career. So it starts with a, a diploma program, which prepares for a PhD uh, as a student. Then uh, there is this, uh, this PhD program, so the joint SDPC is a PhD program. We also have a STEP program where people uh, come to, uh, I mean, have a, they already have an advisor in their home country, do their PhD there, but they also get an addition, uh, a second advisor here and come a few times during their studies here to discuss with him and uh, do the PhD also with the help of somebody from here. And then after the PhD, you can come as a postdoc and as a visitor. And there's also the associate program where uh, people uh, after they are selected would uh, come for maybe over a period of five years, they can come more or less every year for one or two months to, uh, to visit us and uh, to do work here and uh, continue with the research. It's, uh, it comes in different uh, levels, junior, regular and senior, depending on the uh, seniority. Um, in addition, we have this Office of External Activities. So if you uh, want to organize a school in your home country, you can um, ask for some limited funds from them to help you uh, support some of the participants. <coughs> there are also uh, some partner institutes in Brazil, China, and Mexico, which have recently been founded. So here, yeah. You can see a map of the different activities. So um, there are these different partner institutes, which you can see. And if you look at uh, the blue and the yellow, uh, you can see, for instance, in the year 2000, what scientific meetings in what places of the world scientific meetings and schools and workshops have been organized. So thank you. That was all I wanted to say. So you should uh, look uh, 